Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming with my first tutorial of 2015. Um, today I decided to center my look around the Becca highlighter in Opal that was just featured in my last video in my giant high-end haul. If you didn't see it, I will make sure to list it down below for you. Um, this is just a really pretty, like, bronzy beautiful goodness all wrapped into one um, for a highlighter but it's a little too dark for me so I decided to use it as a shadow and someone actually did request the look on Facebook so thank you so I decided to go ahead and get that out for you um it's a really just more glamorous look um, you can wear it for a night out with your girlfriends or as a, like a date night look um, whatever you want to do you could wear it on a Wednesday afternoon for all I care. It's just makeup. You can do whatever you want, right? So, um, yeah. So this is the look I came up with. Um, it's just really pretty. It's obviously all neutrals because I was dealing with a little bronze color. I do give a couple different lip options. Um, obviously this is the one that I went for. It's more nude color. So, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, let me know what you guys would like to see next um, with types of videos you just leave a comment down below make sure to check out all of my social media which I will also list down below and also let me know if there are any other products from my haul that you want to see featured in a video I did end up using some of the new products like throughout this video but this baby was the star of all of it so yeah that is I think pretty much all I wanted to say. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Alright everyone, let's get started. To start out, I have already um, prepped my skin, um, so I've cleansed it and I've put my facial oil on and all the good stuff. So the first product we're going to start off with is the Too Faced Hangover um, FX. This is supposed to be a primer, but it's more of a moisturizer consistency, so that's what I have been using it as since I first got it. So we're gonna just massage this all over the face. For primer I am going to use the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. If you've watched my videos before you will know this is my favorite primer and I was having a little crisis without it but it's back in my life so we're happy. So what I do is I just tap it into my problem areas which is mainly around my nose. Um, that's where I have the biggest pores. It's better to tap this in than to like drag it because you're not going to get a good um, result. So basically the product is just going to slide over your pores and it's not going to fill it in like it's supposed to. So for foundation I'm going to use one that I actually haven't used on this channel before and this is the Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation and it comes in this bottle. You can pick this up at any Sephora. Um, it's actually relatively pretty inexpensive. I think it's like 20 something dollars. And my shade is in light and I want to say this is the lightest one they have. When I bought mine they didn't have a lot of options but who knows they could have expanded. I'll definitely link it down below for you. So what you're going to do with this because it is airbrush foundation. Let me get my brush ready. I am going to use the Sigma F80 brush to buff this out. So you're going to want to hold it back and just spray a little bit on your face and then buff it in immediately. You definitely don't want this product to sit too long. If it sits then you're not going to be able to blend it out and it's going to look flaky and cakey and it's not going to look good. Okay, so moving on, next we are going to use concealer, and for the concealer under my eyes, my forehead, and my chin area, I am going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is in Light One Chantilly. And what I do is, because I find that this concealer dries really quickly, just on me personally, I like to do one eye at a time. So, what I do is... I start at the corner of my eye up here because this is where the darkest um, part of my eye is and then I drag it down in a triangle like that and then I go in and I fill it in 
and you always want to make sure you drag up because if you drag up with your highlighter it's going to give your eye a lifted effect and it's going to make you more awake and um, fresh faced. So I always start by patting it in the corner of my eye and then I start by dragging it up. You never want to drag down, you always want to drag up. Never drag, pat it into your skin. If you're dragging it, you're just going to drag the product around and it's not going to cover like it should be. And I always bring some on my eyelid. But underneath the eye here, pat either way, but you want to finish by patting towards your nose. This will help um, minimize creasing. And there you go. There is one eye done. And you can see the huge difference this makes with my eye. It just me makes me look so much more bright and awake. Okay, since obviously you will look absolutely crazy like this, you are going to want to put some of this on the other parts of your face. The highest parts where the light will naturally hit. So I'm going to put some on my forehead. A little bit on my chin, not a whole lot. And just a little bit, a couple dots here down the bridge of my nose. And then we're going to blend that out with the same brush. To set the highlighter underneath my eye, what I like to do is I like to go in with my Laura Mercier. Um, this is the Secret Brightening Powder, and I use a Real Technique brush for that. And I just like to tap it underneath. Like this. To set the rest of my foundation and concealer, I am going to use my Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. This is a translucent powder, so it's not going to add any more color to my face. And I like to just use a big fluffy brush for that. Next what I like to do is I like to go in and fill in my eyebrows. So I am going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Taupe to fill in my brows and what I love about this is it does have the spoolie on the other side so I brush my brows up and then a little bit over to get the shape that I want. I'm going to do this real fast and then I will be back. Now that my eyebrows are filled in um, we're going to move on and just to mention I did use the Anastasia um, brow tint for the front of my brows and then I use the clear brow gel to set the back part of my brows. Um, I like the tint for the front because to me it like lightens it up a little bit so it's not as harsh and I know that my brows are pretty dark today but they were giving me some problems so I just shh we're not going to talk about it. So moving on we are going to do our eyes and this is the whole look basically this is what you want to stand out the most and striking and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first go in. Now we've already primed our eyes with the concealer. So if you haven't primed your eyes, then you're going to go ahead and want to use an eyeshadow primer. But since I already used concealer, I'm going to skip that step. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Shadows. And this is just a little travel size Z palette that I have created with some of my favorite shadows to use on a daily basis. And it's obviously all neutrals. And I'm going to take an E40 blending brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to take this lightest shade right here and I'm going to run this all over my lid and crease up to my eyebrow. Using the same brush we're going to go into this palette and I am going to mix these top two colors together. And I mix them together, tap off my brush. I kind of go like this and then we're going to blend it into our crease right here. And we're going to put the majority of the color on the outer V in soft circular motions and then you're going to drag it in like this. Go back in with a little bit more Blend it a little bit on the lid, mainly in the crease though. So you get the desired amount of shadow that you want. 
crease colors are on, we're going to go in with the star of the show, and that is the Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in um, Opal. This is technically a highlighter, but since this is too dark for me, I am going to use it as our um, lid shadow color. I'm going to pack this color on. This is just an Eco Tool brush. It's like a really short, flat, um, dense shader brush. And I'm going to press this in. And you can make this as intense as you want it. Now that we have our lid color on, I'm going to go back in with my blending brush with no additional product. And I'm just going to blend in that crease to make sure everything is seamless. Okay. Since this is obviously not dramatic enough for a night out, we're going to go in and we're going to deepen up our outer V. And this is a E25 blending brush from Sigma. This is a natural hair brush. And I like using these when I'm deepening up a crease area because natural brushes don't pick up as much product as um, synthetic brushes. So you're not going to overuse. So you can build a lot easier. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go in with this deepest color right here. This is just a deep brown. Pat it on the tip of my brush, like this. Tap off. Always tap off the excess. And I'm going to hold my brush. I'm not going to hold it like this. We don't want to like sweep it in up into our other crease colors. You're going to hold your brush like this. So the bristles are pointing this way. And you're just going to fit it in to the crease of your eye and gently rub the color in like this. Basically you are focusing the main part of this color, all the pigment, on your very outer V. You're not going to drag this in because it's just going to create too harsh of a look. You can go back in and pick up a little more color if you want. Tap off the excess and go. Next we're going to go ahead and we're going to prep our top lashes for falsies. Next you're going to go ahead and take your favorite pair of lashes. I'm just using these lashes right here. Um, these, I don't know the brand name, but I believe they're really similar to the Red Cherry number 43 lashes. As close to the lash line as you can get it. I'm going to leave it. Go back in and I grab the edges and I set them down. But we're going to go in and we're going to highlight our brow bone. And the color that I chose for that is this white one from Makeup Geek. This is in oh, Ice Queen. And my favorite brush to do that with is this flat little uh, shader brush or crease brush. And this is also from Sigma. Most of my brushes are from Sigma. And we're just going to highlight up here. Just to define our eyebrow a little bit more. Once that's highlighted, we're going to go in and we are going to put our shadow underneath our lashes. And I'm going to take the darkest color that we used in our crease and I'm going to load up my brush. Tap it off. And then I am going to gently define my lower lash line with it. Start Starting on the outer lash and working our way in because we want the most color to be in our outer lash. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a Makeup Geek crease brush. My gosh, I couldn't get that out. And I'm going to take the two original colors that we use in our crease and mix them together once again. Tap off the excess and I'm going to blend out that deeper brown that we put on our lower lash line. This way, it's just nice and smoky and blended. The 
the last uh, shadow we're going to apply to our eyes is we're going to go back in with the Becca um, highlighter and I'm going to take a little, this is kind of like an inner corner little flat shading brush that I like to use and I'm going to pick up some of the color and we are going to run this on our lower lash line by our tear duct up just to brighten up the inner corner a little bit. Next we're going to go in and we're going to finish up our face. The bronzer that I have chosen to use is from the Anastasia Contour Kit. Um, and I'm going to use this color right here. And I'm going to go in on my NARS Eda brush, which is another flat kind of brush. And I'm just going to pack this on tap off the excess and we're going to contour and to blend it out. Like that, we're going to go in a little bit more and deepen it up. The blush I chose for this look is Max Melba just because I think it's kind of a warm peachy color and it's going to go um, along with our um, eyes down. You want to start here and bring it down because if you start here you're going to put way too much color and you're going to end up looking a little clownish dollish you could say. So then I like to take whatever is left smile and put it on the apples of my cheek. And last but not least we are going to highlight and I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Light Palette and I am going to use, I don't think there's names of these, no there's not, but I'm going to use this color right here and I'm going to take it on my little fan brush here and sweep it on the highest points of my cheek. One of the last things that we need to do is the lips. So I used my um, Dior Creme de Rose lip balm to moisturize my lips. So first with this you can do a red. I have here a NYX um, liner and then the Whitening Lightning um, or Gerard Cosmetics um, lip gloss in Candy Apple. I, this is like my all time favorite red gloss so you can do that if you're feeling bold and sassy. So for my pink option I chose this is the Rimmel um, East End Snob and if you know me you know I absolutely love this liner. And then I would pair that with the Gerard Cosmetics um, Buttercup Lip Stick which is just a really really pretty um, pink nude. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do nude. So I am going to take another Rimmel liner and Addiction and then I'm going to take the um, Gerard Cosmetics nude lip gloss and I'm going to top it over the lip liner. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to top it off with the nude gloss.